let us choose a very simple a differential equation just to get started for example uh, let's consider this equation right dy by dt equals 2t so this equation is quite simple to solve uh, analytically so if we integrate it uh, on both the sides what we get is y equals t square plus c right so where c is the constant of integration so for example if we have some initial condition which says at uh, t equals 0 y equals 1 so substituting these values right 1 and t is 0 we get c equals to 1 so the equation which we end up with is y is equal to t square plus 1 right so this equation was quite uh, you know it was simple enough to, to be solved analytically but what if we have to solve this equation numerically so remember the equations the differential equations which we saw just now they might not be simple uh, all the time right so we'll just look at how we can solve uh, you know or you, how we can solve these equations numerically in MATLAB or Octave so I'll be uh, writing my uh, course in Octave which has the same syntax as MATLAB so this, you can run the same code in MATLAB and it will work there as well so let's switch to the coding part alright so let me write the code so I'll be I edit my codes in the Vim editor you don't need to, you don't need to worry about this uh, you can uh, edit your codes in the default matlab editor as well and, to, and the same code will work there fine so let me uh, name this so let's just call it od solver solver.m right so let's start editing so i, I always start my uh, codes with the uh, following with these uh, words so basically they clear all the va variables which are already present in the workspace again you don't need to worry about these things for now so yeah right uh, we need to solve it right numerically and the function that we are going to be using is called ODE45 it's an inbuilt MATLAB function which solves differential equations usually we use them to solve much uh, complicated equations but we'll just see how it works for a simple one so the equation which we had was dy by dt equals 2t right so let us define that so i'm going to be calling that uh, function which i had or let's call it dy by dt itself right because it's a simple function dy by dt it was a function of t and it was 2 times t so that's the function that we have right okay let me define the initial condition which was uh, y at 0 was 1 right? and the way we are going to solve it is by the use of the ODE45 function ODE45 it needs the equation that we are going to solve so R says dy by dt it needs the it needs the time uh, range in which we want to solve it right so it because we are solving it numerically we can only ask for solutions within a given time range so for example I am interested in the time range 0 to 5 right? and I need to provide the initial conditions so the initial condition is y0 and then this function will return some value and I need to store those values it will return two values it will return the time and it will also return the values of y at those values of time so doing this stores the return value of ODE45 in T and Y. So let me plot these values, values of Y at all T. Let me plot it using a circle and a dash and a line, right? So let me save this. Let me open up Octave, which is same as MATLAB, and I'll run ODE solve. So as you can see, this is the solution that we had. And you can compare it with our analytical solution. So do you remember what it was? Got an analytical solution. So let's call it y and it was it was uh, t square right t square plus one. So let's plot that as well on top of this. So in order to plot a plot a figure on top of already existing figure we need to use this command called hold on let me define the time range 
on which we are going to plot the analytical function. So we have a time going from 0 to 5 with intervals of 0.1. Then let's plot this. So t, y n at all the t that we have defined. Right, and let's use a let's use um, let's use a straight line, right? And let's make the line width. Let's make it two. Uh, let's make a dotted dashed lines, right? And let's plot it. So as you can see, the analytical value, the analytical solution, is agreeing with the numerical solution since they're lying on top of each other. So now we have seen how we can solve differential equations, a bit simple ones, using OD45 in Octave or MATLAB. Okay, thank, thank you for watching and uh, I'll be uploading next videos with uh, slightly complicated differential equations.